Aerial enhances a user's perception of virtual 3D elements by creating physical forces the user can feel in free air. The Aerial device is comprised of five actuators enclosed in 3D printed materials and uses a flexible 3D printed nozzle with pan and tilt control for free space movement. When the materials are combined, the device allows free air sensations to be directed anywhere in space. To create a free air sensation, Ariel uses compressed pressure fields in the form of a vortex ring. To generate a vortex, the Ariel device first injects a signal into five actuators housed within the 3D printed enclosure. When actuated, a sudden movement of air flows out of the enclosure. As the air reaches the tip of the nozzle, it begins to accumulate into a ring of air. When enough air accumulates, it frees itself from the nozzle, creating a vortex in 3D space. When the vortex hits a user's body, the sudden pressure change allows the user to feel a force in free air. A continuous free air display can be made by combining multiple individual devices, treating each device as a haptic pixel. A butterfly is projected sitting on a user's hand while being hit with a series of vortices. The fluttering of the wings is mapped to the pulse frequency of the vortex rings. When the butterfly moves up the user's arm, the vortices follow along. Here we show how we create continuous free air sensations around the user. As the user navigates an island terrain, seagulls approach the virtual character looking for food. As the seagulls swoop and dive by the virtual character, continuous free air sensations are created around the user's head to mimic nearby flying seagulls. Here we show how a scaled down version of our device can be used to provide users with free air gestural feedback. When a user enters the haptic space, a vortex is emitted to provide the user with feedback. Here we show how Ariel can be used to create a series of free air sensations of virtual objects with varying textures. As the user moves over different regions of the world, varying free air sensations are provided to the user to simulate changing terrain. Finally, we show how Ariel can be used with transient haptic sensations that are directed at real-world objects. Here, the butterfly is shown fluttering over a plant. The plant leaf moves and reacts to the movement of the butterfly's wings. In the future, we see Ariel technology helping to bridge the virtual and physical worlds in new and exciting ways.